Okay. I'm going to go over how to tie a directional slip knot in order to install one of these Anaconda rope sleeve friction savers. So, I've got my splice end right here, carabiner in there. What I want to have happen, the cool thing about the rope sleeve friction savers is that they, they basically stay on the line, so you don't have to reinstall them on the line itself, just into the tree. The goal is to get a suitable branch union, or I just could monkey fist it up, get into a low branch union, then use alternate lanyard technique and ascend in my lanyard, in my climbing system, in my lanyard, in my climbing system, and get a high ultimate tie-in point. So I want to take this monkey fist, throw it over a suitable branch union, and then get this down back down to me, the splice or termination side. I will end up pulling it over my suitable branch union until I've got yellow and yellow and pink in the middle. That's how I know where, I, where it's best, where I want it. And then you can see I've got a directional slip knot on the other side here. So once I get this friction saver, the rope sleeve, the anaconda, the caterpillar, the Dan House rope sleeve, everything that people call it, into place, I can pull down on both sides of the line from the ground, pull that slip knot out, and then I can continue to pull my climbing line through, down to me, till I've got both ends in my hands, I can tie my system and go. So, in another video, when it's not quite so dark, maybe tomorrow I'll go over the directional slip knot, which is